Hi, I'm Toby. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an inline instructor note to a Carpentries lesson. And in this example, I'm going to be using the image processing with Python lesson from Data Carpentry. So this is the landing page. Uh, for that lesson website. It includes some introductory text and the setup instructions for learners to follow before they begin the lesson. Along the top bar, you can see links to various accessory pages to the lesson, such as a collection of key points here, um, a glossary of terms, and so on. At the top right, we can see we're currently looking at the lesson in Learner View. If I click on this drop down, I can switch the lesson over to the Instructor View. This has a couple of immediate effects. Firstly, it changes this front page of the lesson to include an estimated teaching schedule down here instead of the setup instructions for learners. Uh, it also changed the options that were available along the top bar. The page of key points is still there, um, but now the links to the glossary and the learner profiles have been replaced with links to an instructor notes page um, and a page of all of the images used throughout the lesson. It's also in this instructor view that any inline instructor notes will become visible in the episode pages. Right now, this lesson doesn't have any of these, though, um, and we're going to do something about that over the course of this video. If I click on the link to the uh, instructor notes, I'm taken to the dedicated instructor notes page. Um, here we can see a collection of notes that have provided uh, to help instructors teach the lesson more effectively. Um, the contents of this page are covered in much more detail in the other instructional video that's been added to our channel for this year's Instructor Notes Drive. Um, that video is about editing this um, Instructor Notes page. Um, but for now, I want to focus your attention on this note here um, under the heading Blurring. Um, this is about, this is a note about a potential point of confusion um, in the lesson, um, at a, in a particular episode that's about blurring images, um, giving instructors um, some warning, I suppose, to be careful with the um, language that they use um, when talking about the concepts in that episode, um, because there's a potential there for confusing, um, confusing learners by um, by kind of mixing up what terms they're using to talk about um, edges and so on. And this is a great example of the kind of instructor note that would have more impact if it was placed in line, um, if it was placed actually at the location in the lesson where it's most relevant. It would then appear in the instructor view of the lesson um, at exactly the right moment when the instructor can benefit from, from that guidance most um, while teaching the lesson. So I'm gonna show you now um, how to move this note from this general instructor notes page to the specific episode that it relates to. The first step that we need to take is to head to the um, lesson repository. So we scroll to the very bottom of this instructor notes page and find the page footer, that's this section here. In there, there's this link source. If we click on that, it takes us to the lesson repository. Um, the next thing that we need to do in this case is create a fork of this lesson repository. Um, if you already have a fork of the lesson repository, then you should make sure that you you make sure that it's up to date with um, uh, with the data carpentry work version of the repository. But in this case, I don't have any forks of this repository yet, so I'm going to go ahead and create one. I could click create a new fork here, but I can also click this fork button directly like that. And this says, um, this brings up a um, menu where I can um, finish creating this new fork of the lesson. So I'm going to keep the name the same. I'm going to keep the description the same. I'm only copying the main branch. I'm going to click create fork. So I didn't change anything um, in this interface. When I click that green create fork button, um, GitHub starts creating this um, copy of the repository. So I should take a moment to explain what a fork is, I suppose. So a fork of a repository on GitHub is a complete copy of that repository and its contents and its history. Um, 
but crucially it's a copy that I own and that I have full control over. Um, and so that then allows me to um, make the changes that I want to make to the lesson in my own fork. And then when I'm ready, I can open a pull request back to the original data carpentry version of the project. And with that pull request, I'll be suggesting um, these changes that I've made be incorporated into the data carpentry version of the lesson. Um, and the lesson maintainers for that lesson will um, consider that and perhaps suggest some changes and so on. Um, but hopefully, eventually, they will um, merge in. They'll be happy to merge in these changes that I'm suggesting to the lesson. Um, so I've created this fork now. And the next thing that I need to do is create a branch um, where I'm going to be making these changes to the lesson. So I'm going to click on this drop down here, which is the, um, the drop down that you can use to switch between branches of a project. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use that to create one. So uh, to create a new branch, I type into this um, box here the name of the branch that I want to create. So in this case, I'm going to call it move blurring instructor note because that's what I'm planning to do in this branch of the project. Um, and so what has appeared now is this little box that says create branch move blurring instructor note. So I'm going to click that. That's going to create the branch for me. It's going to switch me over to working in that branch. And now I'm going to go and edit the two files that I need to edit. The first file that I need to edit is that instructor notes page because I want to remove that instructor note from that page and then I'll, I'll make sure I've kept a copy of that somewhere and so that I can then paste it in um, as an inline instructor note in the episode that I want to move it to. So that instructor notes file is inside this instructors folder within the repository. Here it is, instructornotes.md. It's a markdown file, that's why it has the, the file extension .md. If I open that, then we see GitHub's interpretation of the markdown content of that file. I can use these two buttons here to switch between this rendered version of the markdown, it's being rendered by GitHub, and what's called the source version of the markdown, which is the um, actual markdown uh, file content itself. So here, this is a file that's written with um, markdown syntax. And down here, on lines 26 to 29 is that um, instructor notes about the blurring episode. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to edit this file to cut out that instructor note about the blurring episode. I'm going to keep that in my clipboard or I'll probably paste it into a text file um, to kind of keep it safe. And then I'm going to go to the ep to the blurring episode file and I'm going to add that note in as an inline instructor note. So to edit the file, I use this little pencil button near the top right of the interface. I click on that and I enter this, um, this editing mode that GitHub provides. Scrolling down again to line 26, I find the note. I'm going to select lines 29 to 25. I'm going to do command X on my machine to cut that out and to to put it into my um, computer's clipboard. Okay, and then I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'm going to commit these changes. So remove note about um, blurring episode. I'm gonna commit this directly to the move blurring instructor note branch. Okay, so now that I've committed that change, if we scroll down, we see that that note no longer appears in this rendered view of the file. Um, and I can now go and change the other file that I need to change, which is the episode file to add that note back in, but now in the place where it's most um, relevant. So the episode files are stored in the episodes folder of the repository. That's here. If I open that, we can see that this episode is called 06 blurring. That's the one that the note referred to. I'm going to click 
on that file to open this um, rendered view of the markdown source file for that episode page. And I'm going to click the edit pencil button again to edit this page. And now I want to add this inline instructor note to the place where it's most relevant within this episode. That could be right at the beginning of the episode, or it could be somewhere more specific. Um, and in this case, the place where it is most relevant is a little further down in the page where we talk about uh, what happens when we're blurring the edges of an image. And so that's in this call out here. And so just before this call out, we're going to add our instructor note, our inline instructor note, so that in the instructor view of the lesson, this note appears uh, for instructors and, and helps them um, just before they start talking about this part, about what happens when we blur at the outer boundaries of an image. So I'm going to add some new lines in, and then I'm going to paste in that instructor note from the uh, that I cut out of the instructor notes page just before. And then the next thing that I need to do is um, is add some fences around this instructor note. So inline instructor notes are created in a lesson as one of these fenced divs, um, which kind of define formatted blocks within an episode page. You can see one actually, an example of one just below, starting now on line 186. This is the opening fence of a call out block. And then scrolling down, we get eventually to the closing fence here. And so these fences are lines containing a long string of uh, colon symbols. And in the case of the opening fences, the colon symbols are followed by at least one space and then a keyword that defines what kind of block is being created um, by these fences. So in this case, it's a call out block. Um, but in our case, it's going to be an instructor notes block, which is defined by the keyword instructor. So we can above the beginning of our, instru of our instructor note that we're adding in here, we can add a long string colon symbols, just like we have below for the call out box. But then after that, a space and then the word instructor, all lowercase. And then after the instructor note that we're adding in, we can add another long string colon symbols like this to close out that fence div. And this defines that everything between this opening fence and this closing fence is an instructor note that we want to add it to the episode page. The last thing that I want to do is um, I want to adjust this note a little bit um, to change the heading, for example, and I'm going to make it not appear as a bullet point as well, because now that it's taken out of the context of a page that's kind of a bullet point list of instructor notes, it makes a lot less sense for it to appear as a bullet point um, within the page. So I'm going to say um, terminology about image boundaries as the title, and I'm going to delete these symbols and these spaces from the starts of the lines. I'm going to also add a new line in there to split this over three lines and make the individual lines a bit shorter. Um, but there we have the contents of our um, inline instructor note block. I can now scroll down to the bottom of this page and commit my changes. So add inline instructor note about image about image boundary terminology. Let's say okay, that's a bit long according to GitHub, but it'll do. It's descriptive at least. Um, and I can commit these changes to the branch as well. Okay. And so now what I have done in this branch is I've made two edits, one edit to remove an instructor note from the general instructor notes page and another edit to add that instructor note back in as an inline instructor note in the episode where it's most relevant. Um, 
I'm now ready to go and open a pull request to suggest these changes um, back to the data carpentry um, original version of the lesson repository. So to do that, I can go to pull requests in my repository and GitHub has created this, automatically created this kind of yellow box here that says move blurring instructor note had recent pushes one minute ago. What that means is I've made changes on this branch recently. And so it's guessing that I might want to open a pull request. And so I can click this compare and pull request button. And that opens this um, interface showing a dialog box for me to add more description of this pull request. But if I scroll down, we also see here a summary of the changes that are made um, in this branch. So here's the new inline instructor note being added. And here's in this kind of pink highlighting, this shows these lines being removed from the instructor notes page, um, which is very reassuring because that's exactly what I thought that I'd done in this branch. So scrolling back up, I can now um, change this um, title to be something like um, relocate um, instructor note to blurring episode. And then I'm going to select everything here. And as it um, describes, delete the line and, and everything below it and type in some more context for the lesson maintainers to help them understand what it is that I'm trying to achieve with this pull request. This relocates the note about um, terminology around image boundaries to the blurring episode where it is most relevant. It adds the note into that episode as a as an inline instructor right. and then i can create the pull request and this pull request gets opened on the data carpentry version of the image processing repository so there's this one open pull request um, and there i am with this secondary account of mine um, describing what the change is that's being created. And I can now wait for the um, lesson maintainers to review that, hopefully to merge it in. Um, and I'm ready to kind of move on to whatever the next lesson is and the next instructor note is that I want to add or update or move and so on. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching this instructional video. I was showing you how to add an inline instructor note to an episode in a carpentry's lesson. Um, you might also be interested in the accompanying video that shows how to edit the general instructor notes page of a lesson. Um, check out the Carpentry's YouTube channel to find that video and, of course, many others that I hope will also be useful to you in other ways. Um, thank you for watching.